Hello lovers, if sex is the topic and pleasure is the goal, this is the place to be. You're welcome to Eve's Desire by Tiwa Says and I am your pleasure coach. So we can all agree that relationships are an extreme spot these days. It is not for the weak at all. There are so many types of ships out there, you know, talking about relationships, friendships, courtships, and even situationships, it is not an easy thing to navigate these days. And that's why a lot of people are now coming out with their own version of ships. And one of those is the friends with benefits kind of relationship. So what is a friend with benefits relationship? This is a situation where two people who are friends, or at least friendly, are intimate without any commitment to each other whatsoever. So the benefits within is the sexual pleasure that they derive from each other. Although in some cases, it might be, there might be other benefits involved like money and other favors. But today we are concentrating on the sexual parts of um, this kind of relationship. And you will be surprised that a lot of people are delving out of the conventional relationships these days because like I said earlier, relationships have become an extreme spot. You know, they have become so demanding, so um, difficult and all that, that a lot of people would rather have this kind of, um, this type of relationship, which is the friends with benefits. You know, with the friends with benefits, there is no, no commitment, no, nothing holding you bound. You just come together for the sheer pleasure of sex and sometimes companionship. Because you find that some people who have been hurt in the past from their regular relationship, the conventional relationships, and then are on a period of healing, but still want to have, you know, sexual pleasures, usually go for this kind of relationship because it is possible for you to just come together, have sex with this certain person and not be, not be obligated, you know, to call the person the next day, send text messages or lovey-dovey there's really nothing like that it's just for sex and other favors like i said earlier so what are the advantages of this type of relationship so the first advantage of a friends with benefit relationship is that the sex is good yes you heard me right the sex is good because that is what brings the two people together in the first place most of the time is because of the sex you know you have great sex you want to have great sex without any emotional commitment you know so just for the pleasure of the sex so the sex has to be good so one of the benefits is that the sex is good you're having great sex we know emotional yada 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 you're hurting me i'm hurting you sex and no 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 that is one advantage so another advantage is that there is no commitment whatsoever you are not committed to each other you only come together for the pleasure that you're both deriving from each other whether it's sex whether it's companionship but there is no commitment whatsoever i'm not committed to you you're not committed to me you're not we don't have to do anything we are not bound by anything there is no um, responsibility or liability another advantage is that it is convenient it is very convenient we just come together when we want to have fun but especially for those who lead busy lives you find out that a lot of people have difficulties in their conventional relationships is because they have busy lives you know busy work schedules and they don't have time for their partners so in a friends with benefits kind of relationship, it's, it's no problem at all. You just come together when you have the time to spend some time together, either for sex or just to talk, you know, and then you go back to your busy life. So it is very, very convenient. Another advantage is that there are no expectations at all. There are no expectations because there's no interference in each other's lives. So I don't expect much from you and you don't expect much from me except what we have going already so one last advantage of a friends with benefits kind of relationship is that there is no drama because the relationship is one that does not have any strings attached at all and they're not there is no form of commitment whatsoever it's two people just coming together to enjoy themselves for the sheer pleasure of sex or companionship so it gives room for no drama whatsoever I haven't heard the advantages. Now let's move on to the disadvantages. So one of the disadvantages of a friend with benefits type of relationship is unsafe sex. 
Even if you are having protected sex with your partner, it is possible for your partner to have other friends with benefits and they may not be having protected sex and this puts you at a risk. One other disadvantage is that some endings don't end well. Some of these relationships, friends with benefit relationships don't end well. And you know, it may not be due to the fact that, okay, one partner has developed feelings, no. It is just possible that one of the partners may not want it to end yet, you know, maybe because of um, the person is enjoying the sex so much or the companionship so much and does not want it to end. So sometimes in these cases, the endings can be very uncomfortable. And of course, another disadvantage is that one of the partners may fall in love, which is usually a possibility. You know, when one partner falls in love with the other partner and the other partner is not feeling that way, that can be a problem and that is a disadvantage. One of the disadvantages of a friends with benefit type of relationship is that you may lose a friend when it ends. You know, because like I said earlier, friends with benefit relationships usually happen between people who are friends or who are friendly. So sometimes when these relationships end, you actually lose the person as well. So you are not just losing the benefit, so to say, you are also losing the friendship as well. And finally, another disadvantage is that this type of relationship can be quite demanding. Demanding in the sense that if you're having more than one friends with benefits, you know, so you have to juggle between this person and that person and that can be quite demanding. So having said all this, this type of relationship is not for everybody. You know, there are some people who would do well with the friends with benefit type of relationship and there are those people who should just not even go near it. So if you are the kind of person who is emotional, who is easily moved, who falls in love easily, then this type of relationship is not for you. And if you're also the kind of person who is monogamous, you know, you like to, you are the kind of uh, one, one person, one partner kind of thing, you don't like to share your man and all that, this might not be good for you because in a friends with benefit type of relationship, there are no commitments and there are no expectations. It is possible for your partner to have other friends with benefits as well. So if you're one who doesn't like to share, then you shouldn't go near this. But if you've made up your mind that you would like to try this type of relationship, here are a few points to guide you along. One, set boundaries and ground rules. Even though it's a friend with benefit type of relationship and there are no you know, commitments and expectations involved, still, there are some boundaries that should be set that should guide the relationship. For instance, I mentioned safe sex. That should be one of the ground rules, you know. So you need to have a set of rules binding a relationship even though it's a kind of free relationship like open relation but then there should still be um, a set of rules guiding that two you should communicate frequently communicate all the time you know because sometimes the rules of the game may change so it is important that you communicate at each point in time so that something does not happen in between maybe you know one person starts catching feelings or one person is dissatisfied or one person wants out so it is important that you keep communicating along um, during the relationship one other tip to guide you along in a friends with benefit relationship is to agree on duration even though it's a friend with benefits it's not a conventional type of relationship you should always agree on duration like i said earlier some people enter this type of relationship because of several reasons some are on a rebound from a breakup. Some even have their partners, you know, they're in a long distance um, kind of relationship, but they still need, they still have that physical need, you know, for companionship or for sex. So they have a friend with benefits. So if you're in that kind of position, you should have um, a duration set with your partner. Like, oh, okay, we're just going to be in this for six months. or we're just going to be in this for three months. or we're just going to be in this for one year. So it is always better to be clear so that when you want to end it, there is no problem whatsoever. Another thing is that you should be honest with your partner. Be honest about what you want and be honest about your feelings. If you want to be in a friends with benefit kind of relationship, stop lying to, the, to your partner that, oh, I love you, I want to marry you and all that. It is really not necessary. If you tell your partner from the onset, okay, this is what we're getting into, and this is what we want to do it is always better so you are always on the same page with your partner instead of lying and you know 
doing some kind of gimmicks just for uh, sexual benefits. Another tip is that you should respect your partner and your partner's boundaries. You know, like I mentioned earlier, you should have a set of boundaries guiding this type of relationship, even though it is not the conventional type. So you should respect those boundaries and also respect your partner because it is not the conventional type of relationship does not mean there shouldn't be respect involved. Respect is important in any kind of relationship whatsoever. And finally, you have to be clear about other friends with benefits. You need to have a discussion with your partner on the way to go in the relationship if you're going to be accepting other friends with benefits either on your side or on your partner's side it is always important to be clear about that so that there is no issue of oh you didn't tell me or issues of unsafe sex and all that so it is always important to be clear if they are going to be additional partners or it's just going to be you and your partner doing the friends with benefits kind of relationship Whatever thing you decide, make sure it is one that works for you. Do not follow the trend. The fact that other people are doing it, you know, and it's working for them does not mean that it will work for you. And if you have enjoyed this video, why don't you click the like button and also subscribe so that you can get notifications for our future videos and I'll be seeing you.